All right, guys, how's it going? Today we're back with a zombie ration. And this one is from allmres.com. This is not a sponsored video, but I saw it on Amazon. I thought, well, let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to try this exact one. This is not any regular ration. Very crackly. This is a zombie, a Z sugar rush ration. So in it, we have, well, let's not even read that. Let's just open it up and see. It's almost funner, more fun doing it like that. This is not a military ration, obviously. This is a, see, I don't like that. This is a um, camping or, I would almost label this um, a children's ration. Why is this thing so hard to open up? Holy cow. And by naming it a children's ration, I think kids are a lot more likely, parents are more likely to buy it for their kids for like a camping trip. Not that you want to feed your kids a whole bunch of sugar on a camping trip, but if you were into that sort of thing, you definitely could. That is a lot of food. This is about $20-ish. I don't remember exactly. Uh, which actually isn't that bad of a price for how much you get in here, really. If you buy this stuff individually, it get pretty costly. We have a mocha dessert bar. We also have a peanut butter dessert bar. Now, when John sent us that big box of stuff, he gave me a bunch of these in there. These are actually really good. Um, it's hard to describe. We'll get that in here in a second. We have French vanilla cappuccino. We have milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. We have mocha cappuccino. Ice cream cappuccino. We have strawberry banana dairy shake powder. Then we have our applesauce pound cake. I've not had this before. Here we have our lemon poppy seed pound cake. I bought some of these a while back. They're really good. Maple muffin top. Those are also really good. We have a marble pound cake. Also really good. Vanilla pound cake. We have a carrot pound cake. I bought some of these too. Phillips had some of those, I think. Table syrup. Holy crap, if, you, if your diabetes wasn't raging enough with all this, you get some table syrup with it. And strawberry jam. Strawberry jam actually could go decent on some of this stuff. So let's get a bunch of cups. I think what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna do the milk chocolate, cocoa beverage powder, we'll do that hot. We'll do the French vanilla. Uh, we'll do one of the cappuccinos. We haven't decided for sure yet. And then the strawberry banana dairy shake, which will be cold. Ask Philip what cappuccino he wanted because he's a coffee drinker in this operation. He said the mocha. So let's go ahead and turn the top off of this. We have a line right here to fill it up full of hot water. Actually, let's not rip that off quite yet because the hot water is still, still heating up. So this is strawberry dairy shake, strawberry banana dairy shake. White powder, it smells like bananas and strawberries, obviously. Let's lean that up here. We're gonna mix this one cold. All the rest of them are gonna be mixed hot. Right there. We're gonna give her the old zip and flip. Okay. Clean that up right there for right now. Let's grab the hot water. We're gonna do these other two drinks and start getting this stuff open. Let's start off mixing our mocha up. Philip said he wanted the mocha cappuccino out of the three cappuccinos they got there. The powder is, if you can even see it, lightly brown. It smells like coffee. Open the top up. We're gonna dump it through the line. Wow, that's hot. That's real hot. I mean, just a smidge more in there. That should be good. Do a little zip and shake. Put that right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the milk chocolate. 
thing I like about these, the powder goes above the zipper because when it's closed, it's not zipped. Then it gets up here in the top, and then when you cut it open, it usually goes everywhere. A little bit, but not too bad. Smells like hot chocolate. Can't really smell too much at all in it, really. Let's see here. There we go. And then we're ready for our banana stuff here. Let Philip get him a, a solo cup out there to sample some of this. I've had this before, it's kind of like what melted ice cream would be like. Give me that over here a minute. That's pretty much it, not a lot, but something tells me there's gonna be enough sugar in this to where that's gonna be plenty. How's it smell? Is you already drinking? Looks like Pepto Bismo. It does, it does yeah, with the Pepto look. A little chunky. It's like you need to stick a stick in it and put it in the freezer, huh? A little bit, yeah, it's like- It's not bad. Uh, it's not, it's just, think it's like thick. It's not as sweet as icing. Like some of the drinks we have are like drinking cake icing. Definitely thick and a little lumpy. It's pretty good though. So this should be ready. Shake it one more time. This is the mocha cappuccino. It's hot. I can promise you that. It's not very much. I'm gonna take a sip. Well, it's gonna burn your face off if you do it right now. But we might add a little more water to that, which is totally fine. Fill it to the line, but it is what it is. Next up, we'll let Philip do that and I'll do this. Let's season the coffee here. It's kind of the same way. A very small amount of stuff we could always add to it. I poked an eye by the light there. Look at that. Take a little sip here. Hot. Sweeter than I thought it would be. Is it? Yeah. This one's not bad, but it definitely needs a little bit more. Not much. A tad more water. I've had those before. That probably doesn't need more water. You think it does or not? I think it's good. Yeah. Well, then take another sip of this. That's pretty much perfect for me. You don't want it thick. You just want it where it's nice, you know? Okay. How's your diabetes doing here? How's your blood sugar level? Wonderful. Doing good so far? Yep. Well, I'll ask you here in a little bit and we're gonna... I bet it's not gonna be the same. The carrot cake. I've actually had these before. Like I said, I got some of these and the lemon poppy seed pound cakes. The best parts on the bottom, we'll save that for last. Let's go ahead and cut you a, a piece of pizza there. There you go. Try that once and see. This has walnuts, piece of carrot, all that kind of business in it. There you go. I would say slightly dry. Well, I think it's I think it's a little moist. It's not too bad. Hmm. 
to like a... It's not going to be like something you eat in a restaurant, but for an MRE, mm -hmm. it's not bad. You can taste it. I think it's good. It has like an all-spice type flavor to it. Right. Almost like a spice cake. All right. I'm not so sure about this table syrup and jelly. We're going to get around to that or not. And then this one is the vanilla pound cake. I've had this before in different rations. It is nice to eat these that are, are fresh, though. Because you're getting the rations, you never know what's happened to it and then how long it's been sitting around. But these are all pretty fresh. This one looks a lot more white. It has some sugary stuff on top. Jeez, there we go. There we go. There's your piece of pie. This one cuts a lot better. Look at that. It's a vanilla pound cake. A lot more sugar in that one for sure. Yeah. Oh, like more of a wider yellow cake, if you will. Definitely a little more dry uh, on that one, but it's a lot thicker too, as you can see there. So let's shuffle this over to the side here. Next up, maple muffin top. Well, you know what a muffin top is? Yeah. Some girls got real tight pants on that hangs over their, their fat roll hangs over their pants. Everybody's like, that's not nice. Hey, I'm just telling you, that's what it is. All right goes this way this is gonna be a maple flavored maple syrup based deal here there you go there's your muffin top you gonna be laying in bed not thinking about that aren't you <laughs> wake up screaming definitely smells mapley you can tell it has syrup in it it's a lot heavier mm -hmm. The sugar content's pretty extreme on that, too. All right, so I'm making a bunch of Pac-Man shaped cakes here. Will these be eaten? I can tell you right now, they probably will be over the next day or two. These are our standard operation for this kind of stuff is immediately when we're done, we'll put them in a Ziploc bag so no air gets to them. And then they're gonna stay, stay good for quite a while like that. Next up, marble pound cake. I've actually had this once or twice. This is not as common to get. And this one looks awful dark. This has like a chocolate swirl, essentially. Touch my elbow on the kettle there. Chocolate swirl. I'll try some of that. I'm gonna give you guys a cross cut view of it. This one has a lot of moisture, you can tell by touching it. There you go. Definitely the heaviest and the, mo the most moisture in that one so yeah, far. Moist. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, a little bit of hot cocoa or in your case cappuccino really goes well with that. It is. Very good. Okay. This over here in the Pac-Man herd. Lemon poppy seed pound cake. A lot of you probably think, oh, I won't like that. It tastes like Mr. Clean. I don't always associate lemon or food with cleaners and different things. That's usually a big mistake, is these can be very, very good. Look how yellow that is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm trying not to cut too big of pieces because we still got a few to go here. So this one actually has almost like a lemon topping on it, the way it looks. It's really nice. That's good. The seeds are a little bit crunchy. I can't say none of them are bad at all so far. I mean, overall, they're really yeah, good. It's good desserts. This one, the lemon isn't real crazy on, and it's it's really nice. Uh, average applesauce pancake. I've not ever had this. Be the first time for this. Q 
keep bumping this kettle with my elbow, so I'm going to set that out of the way, because that's no fun. Applesauce pound cake. There you go. This is different. Mm -hmm. More of a cinnamon kind of background to that. Tastes like applesauce. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So far, it's been a real hit. So next up is peanut butter. And you guys know I don't like peanut butter that much, but as you're gonna see here, these are really good. Yeah, we might have to uh, do a little bit of this action so we get out one piece. <clears throat> so how this is set up, it's almost like a nougat type thing. I should try the first slab of it. Have you had this before or not? No. It's real light. It's not... You don't really notice the peanut butter too much at all in it. It's real light and fluffy. Has some nuts in it. Is it peanuts? Mm. Yep. Roast the peanuts inside of it. What do you think about it? I think it's good. You can taste the peanuts a lot. It's they've made peanut butter. It's almost like it's whipped, right? And it's like, um, almost like you whip like a like cream and make it whipped cream, like fluffy. Right. It's almost like that. A little bit heavier because it's peanut butter. That's good. Overall, not bad. Now this here, the mocha dessert bar. Ooh, mm -hmm. I've had this before. They have many different variations of this, and <clears throat> they've improved it. It used to be when you get these in the older rations, I would bite into it and just have to sit there and shake and turn the camera off because <laughs> it was so bitter and so, it was like eating coffee grounds. But on these newer ones, they fixed a lot of it. I'll let you take a bite of that. Now, if you don't fall over dead, then we know we're good. Eh, eh. A little smaller buy for me. That doesn't smell bad. Coffee doesn't always hit you at first, so the, the aftertaste is what will get strong on you. It's almost more like dark chocolate. Yeah, at first I didn't like it, but then as the aftertaste kicks at in... At first you can't really taste it at all. Right. They've tamed that down a lot. It used to be just brutally harsh. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. That's good. Overall, I don't know, I think this is, I'm gonna say this is 25 or 27 bucks on Amazon. It was on Prime. I think supplies are limited. I don't know if you can buy these on allmres.com or not. I don't know. I need to contact them again and get back in touch with them. Um, but it's gonna be it. We're not gonna use the table syrup, guys. We're not gonna use strawberry jam. I can't really see that being, that fitting in anywhere in here. I just totally overdoing it. That's gonna be it, guys. Back next week with another video. Tomorrow, back on the French stuff, or next week, we're back on the French stuff. We'll see you then.